culture of collaboration is, is that, that's really at the heart of a matter because, uh, again, collaboration is not a program. It's not something you can do off on the side. It's something that comes out of what your nature is as a ministry or a church. If any organization comes to me and says, I want to partner better with people outside the company, uh, first question I'll ask them is, well, how well do you partner internally? Because if you don't partner well internally, if everybody only does their own thing, then trying to partner with somebody outside of your organization is, is, is going to become an, a, an anomaly. You know, that's going to be even harder because you don't already do it. Um, if you, in fact, have a culture, though, where you're sharing resources within the church, people are supporting each other's things, it's very collaborative, then moving outside the walls of your church is just an extension of what you already do. So, so culture is really important, and, and that's really kind of the difference. I mean, when you have a, if you're a church leader and you have your Monday morning staff meeting, uh, are there more questions about what are we doing in the church and how can we help one another do that? Or the questions with each of the separate parts of the church reporting what they're doing in their area. You know, if you're looking at all the pieces, there, there's, a, there's a culture that says we're holding each piece accountable and you better do your job. If you're looking at the whole, you're looking at how do all these pieces add up to what we're trying to do. And, and, the couple of, and so culture is tied to uh, what do you measure? So I, I know a number of churches, for example, it, well, it's tied to what do you measure, it's tied to uh, what do you value, it's tied to what do you celebrate, two big levers you have for changing culture is the language you use and what you celebrate. If you keep celebrating individual performers, guess what, you're going to have individual ministries. If you keep celebrating teams that do things together, you're going to have people that want to do things together because everybody wants to be celebrated. Uh, I, I know a church on the measurement side, a number of churches that just measure uh, attendance, as an example. They say we're not about numbers, but their number one metric is how many people did we have on Sunday, okay? So it all becomes about that. You know, you, you get what you measure. I know another church that every year does a survey of all its people, and they simply ask you a series of questions online that say, compared to last year, is your marriage better or worse than it was? Compared to last year, is your scripture memory greater or less than it was? Compared to last year, are you serving more or less than you did? And then what they do, and it's all up to you. Where were you? You said you wanted to grow as a Christian. That's why you're in this church. You look at where you are, but they can look at all that aggregate data as a church and say, you know what? All the people coming to our church, all of them say their marriage life is no better than it was when they started coming to the church. And, they, and then as a church staff, they can say, that's not right. We should be doing something about that. They could look and say, you know what? Everybody is improved in service across. When we look at the majority of people who come to our church, more of them say they are serving than they did before they came. Well, how do we build on that strength and how do we do that? So the, it, that's the kind of culture you create. The same thing that around collaboration says, what are we doing with others outside the church? What are we doing together to support overall needs or overall uh, programs or events versus all doing our own thing. And, and you can just kind of feel the collaboration. There's a lot of we talk. There's a lot of uh, distributed leadership. There's, uh, I, I know a church, for example, that has uh, uh, on the staff, there are probably five or six paid staff members and 10 or 12 really full-time staff members who are business people in the community. They're, they're, they're on staff, but they're not paid. But they've been given all the responsibility for running this ministry in the church, even though they're not, quote, a paid staff member. It's a very collaborative structure for that. They've allowed people with their gifts and strengths to play where they can as a body of Christ, not as a, here's the staff and here are the congregants and this is how we're going to control things.